In this video, I'm going to show you how to put these Google reviews on your site. Hey guys, what's up? This is Michaela from Simplifying Websites. And before I start the tutorial, I'm going to ask you to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Come on guys, I'm here on the Finnish Stampa website, which is an online store that I taught you how to create on the channel. I'll leave the link to the video of this store on the card and in the description if you want to go and learn about it. Okay? So for us to be able to put the review widget here, we'll go into the WordPress admin panel. We'll go to plugins, add new. Let's search here in the magnifying glass for Google review widget, which is this one, the Google review widget as well. Then we click install and then activate. When you activate it, it sends you to the installed plugins page. Then all you have to do is click on it, scroll down, and you'll see the Google review widget. Click on settings. Then it will send you here to this tab, which is the tab where you configure it. Then to connect, you click on this little connect button. It will open another browser screen, in this case Chrome, see? And this is where you connect. Then to connect, you'll do this. You'll come here to Google. You'll search for the address of the place you're going to. I always take Uberlandia shopping as a reference here, as an example, right? Then you'll type in the name of your company. It'll appear here on Google Maps. Then you'll click on it. It will expand. Then you'll click on this link in the browser and copy it. Then you're going to go back. You're going to come here to this tab that was opened. You're going to paste the link here. Then it will load, then you'll confirm that it's really this address and you'll click on connect. It's quite simple now, it's not asking you to get any more code, just put in the link and it will pull it up, then it reloads and pulls it up here, you see? It's really good because it already gets the Google reviews. As it's from Google, it gives the person more credibility. And then if the person rates it on Google, they'll also come here to your website. So it's really cool. And here you can choose the layout you want. There are several types of layout here. See, carousel, there's this one, which is a continuous carousel. There's this one, which will have the Google logo, how many reviews it has. And there's the carousel on the side. There's this one, which is the little image above it. See? You can look at it and then choose which one you think looks best for your project. Then there are the ones here that are one at a time, the ones here that are one below the other. There are those here that are in a grid. You see, they're all on a grid. And then you come, choose what you think looks best. The one I'm going to choose is going to be these four. See, then I'm going to click here on select because then it will be here with the Google stars and the little carousel underneath. I'm going to click here on select and when you select it, it gives you, there are other choices because we only chose the model, right? It's this little Google logo with the little carousel underneath and then there are other types. There's this one with a gray background. There's this one with a white background and a gray border. There's this one with a shadow. There's this one that's all white. There's this one with the colored background and the white black thing. See? So there are several options here for you to choose from. I think this one, which has a white background and a shadow, will suit my layout. See? So I'm going to click on select it. Then we'll select it. Okay. Then after selecting, we make some settings. Here it's asking what kind of ratings you want, show everything or just, for example, only five stars, only good reviews. I'll filter it here to show only five stars. Select the language. It comes in Portuguese by default. If it doesn't, you can change it here. The date format, right? That's the date that appears on the review. And if you want to change it, you can change it a day ago or hide the date or leave the date. You can leave the default alignment or you can align it to the center. See the little text is here in the center. Or you can leave it on one side or the other. I'm going to leave it standard. And this review text here, you can leave it at consult more information or scroll. I'm going to leave consult more information so that he can click and go to Google. Okay? Here you can come and configure a few things too. Hide reviews without comments, which will show only those with comments. Hide rating text, leave only the stars, show photo, so if you don't want it shown, you can remove it here so the person's photo isn't shown. Here to use the fonts from the website we've configured, then it takes the default here from what you've configured in Elementor. Show the stars. 
Whatever you don't want to appear, you can come here and remove it, okay? Then, after that, we click on save. There, it will have generated this short code here. Then you click here to copy it and go wherever you want and put it. I'm going to put it here in my footer, see? So that it stays up here. So as I want to put it in the footer, I'm going to hover over Elementor, click on footer. There are existing videos on the channel teaching how to create headers and footers, various types of site just for you. And in the playlists on the channel, I'll also leave the cards here for you, okay? I'll leave it here, this one I made with a container. Then I'll come here to the library here in these little squares. I'm going to come here and get a shortcode widget. I'll drag it up there. In fact, let me get an extra container here. Take a container, then I'll go and get a shortcode. I'll drag it up here. And then I just paste that code here. And then here in the Elementor browser, it gets all messed up. But you can click apply here and refresh the page. It'll look fine on the loaded page, okay? Hey, I've updated it. Let's go to the home page and see. I'll come here to the footer, see? Then here in the viewer, it looks nice and pretty. And that's how our ratings look, okay? And that gives your website a lot of credibility, guys. I highly recommend that you use this plugin. And you see, it's very good. Lightweight, it won't weigh down your site. It won't give you any problems. So it's really worth it. That's it. If you liked it, leave me a like here. Subscribe to the channel. Cheers. See you next time. Bye.